one tip do you have mainly too for us as far as being more holistic? And you, I know your your right. philosophy is right: the mind, the body, the spirit. Right. To, to just wholly being healthy. I I think that that's one of the biggest issues is that we're in a high stress state all the time. So when you are in more of a stressful state of mind, it has, and if your body is sick, you're in a higher state of stress within your body and that releases more stress hormone, cortisol. So it makes it impossible for your body to get into what I call the rest and digest um, nervous system. The rest and digest is your parasympathetic nervous system that allows you to absorb your nutrients better and balance those hormones. And, you know, I think that shifting, shifting away from that high stress state all the time into a lower stress state is a key to wellness. And I think you have to, you have to take care of the whole person. And I, I also want to just say real quickly that we're like health. I think of health as being on a continuum. There's this Travis illness wellness continuum, and at this end, it's premature death, right? And at this end, it's optimal wellness. And in between, you have disease, you have symptoms, you have you know signs, then you're just like normal. And then you have awareness, and you have learning, and you have growth, you know, getting on your way to optimal wellness. And I feel like you could be anywhere on that path, but which, which direction are you facing? You know, are you like way over here, you have no signs, no symptoms, and you're making decisions like drinking or smoking or living a certain lifestyle or eating a lot of inflammatory foods, you're kind of facing the direction of bad health. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, you could have a disease process already and, you know, face in the direction of optimal wellness and actually start being aware and learning and taking steps moving toward optimal wellness instead of, so I think it, it just makes a difference which choice you make and which direction you decide you're going to head, yeah. you know, toward premature death or toward, toward optimal wellness. It takes discipline. It well, it, it, it <laughs> takes, I think it takes self-love. There you go. More than anything. Beautifully said again. I love that. Have more self-love. Because when you truly yeah. care about yourself and you want to function at your best, mm -hmm. then you make choices that make you feel that way.